in what can only be described as an urban legend. Perhaps you're familiar with the synchronicity of watching The Wizard of Oz while listening to Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. And many still wonder today whether it's just a coincidence or if it was purposely done. Some people feel there's just too many coincidences not to take notice. For instance, if you were to start the album on the third lion's roar of the MGM logo, you would notice the lyric, balanced on the biggest wave, coincides with Dorothy's balancing act on the fence. You would also notice side one of the vinyl album is exactly as long as the black and white portion of the film. Also, the cash register and money is heard right as the color is seen in Oz in a money equals color metaphor. You will also find brain damage plays as the scarecrow sings if I only had a brain, and the heartbeat heard at the end of the album is heard as Dorothy listens at the Tin Man's chest, and that's only just the beginning of the list of unbelievable coincidences. We caught up with Nick Mason, drummer for Pink Floyd, to get his thoughts on the urban legend and to find out if he's ever watched The Wizard of Oz while listening to Dark Side of the Moon. I've, I've heard the myth and I've actually um, sort of seen how it works and it is, it's very impressive but I think, I mean there are two elements to that. One is who on earth spent that much time working with that track and, and that, uh, that movie and you know you could try it, you could probably try it with other records and other films. I mean maybe Ben-Hur and the Wall would work. Why has it all got to be so terribly loud? For me, frankly, it's too loud. I just can't bear it. I happen to have grown up in the spring quartet. So, uh, why has it got to be so loud? So amplified? Well, I don't guess it has to be, but I mean, that's the way we like it. And uh, we didn't grow up with a string quartet, and I guess that could be one of the reasons.